हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर पी सी कम्बोडिया एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश बी एस आर गवर्नमेंट आर्ट्स कॉलेज अलवर राजस्थान दिस वीडियो इज फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी ए पार्ट फर्स्ट जनरल इंग्लिश इन दिस वीडियो क्लास वी डिस्कस कॉम्प्रेंशन पैसेज नंबर टू आई रीड द कॉम्प्रेंशन पैसेज बट बिफोर दैट the question read the passage given below and answer the questions that follow it those responsible for teaching young people have resorted in different periods of history to a variety of means for making their pupil learn the earliest of these was the threat of punishment which meant that the pupil who was slow careless or inattentive risked either physical chastisement or the loss of some expected privilege or threat learning was thus to some extent associated with fear particularly in the minds of those who found certain subjects hard to master at a later stage pupil were encouraged to learn in the hope of some kind of reward this often took the form of marks awarded daily or weekly for some work done and sometimes of prizes given at the end of each year to the best scholars such a system appealed to the competitive spirit but it often had just a depressing effect as the older system of punishment on the slow but willing pupil the two systems suggest that teachers felt their pupil had to be either compelled or bribed to learn in the 19th century however there sprang up a different type of teacher passionately convinced that learning was worthwhile for its own sake and that the young learners principal stimulus should be neither anxiety to avoid penalty or punishment nor ambition to win a reward but sheer desire to learn these teachers used their best endeavors to render the process of learning pleasant and where it was not possible to show that hard plodding would yield results of practical value to the learner interest direct or indirect became the keyword of instruction and so it has remained the earlier methods however though now practiced less frequently have been completely abandoned if you walk into a modern classroom that contains all the most up to date equipment you may ob observe a highly trained teacher inspiring boys and girls with his enthusiasm for his subject yet you will probably find that he awards marks for the work done by his pupil and you will certainly find that careless or inattentive pupil is liable to be punished now this comprehension passage is over 
I will suggest my students to read it twice or thrice till they understand it fully. Having read this comprehension passage, we know that it is about the methods of teaching. The first method was a compulsion that a student has to learn. And if he does not learn, he would be punished. So in order to avoid punishment, he kept on learning. Then there is the second process that makes a pupil learn. It is based on awarding marks or grades for the work done. Then there is a third method of teaching. Teaching for the sake of teaching. Teaching through interest. And if interest cannot be developed or sustained, the teacher should say that the topic is difficult and the students will have to understand by applying their mind and by applying their practice and labor. So, these are three methods of teaching. Now we come to the exercises. The first question is, in what way was learning associated with fear? Learning was associated with fear because who didn't learn or were slow at learning or caused errors in learning were punished. So, a terror was there in the mind of pupil. And if some kind of terror is there, naturally mental makeup will not favor teaching. So, this way, teaching was associated with fear by inducing punishment for those who didn't learn. What were the peculiarities of the system which encouraged competition among pupils? The peculiarities of the system that encouraged competition among pupils were to award them with marks or the grades and to create internal spirit of competition. The next question. What did the 19th century belief in learning for its own sake result in? The 19th century belief in learning for its own sake resulted in creating interest for the process of learning. This methodology was neither based on fear that students will not be punished if they do not learn. And if they learn by heart, then prizes will not be given to them. Learning was for its own sake. Learn for your interest, not to avoid punishment and not to have a desire to win prizes. This is what learning for its own sake mean. Then three stages through which the methods of making people learn are the three stages of making people learn are punishment, that fear, terror. Learn, otherwise you will be punished. Second one, learn, we shall provide you the grades or the marks or the prizes. The third one, learn for your own interest. Learn for your own sake. Then, which are the methods practiced in the modern classroom? The methods that a teacher in the modern classroom uses are all the three. He sometimes 
punishes the students but a modern teacher makes use of this method the minimum he makes use of this method only when he is highly compelled when a disobedient student does not learn time and again time and again the teacher may come up with a mild type of punishment the second method that is to award marks and grades is also there of course this is the method which is being used maximum these days of course the third method is also no less important in comparison to the second one learning for its own sake of course examinations are there the grades are there but before that no teacher says that you will be given prizes if you learn no teacher says that you will be punished a teacher goes on teaching and teaching and he sees to it that proper motivation is there proper interest is there and when topic becomes difficult he clearly tells his student that their cooperation is needed they should sit with all the hard work to be done on their part in order to cooperate the teacher and once they have understood this method learning for its own sake then comes examination and after examination comes awards and grades in form of marks but before that the first two methods are used the second one is used more in comparison to the first one the first one is not that much in practice these days because we want that a student should learn only for the sake of learning not because of avoiding fear or not because of his desire to win a prize this way we see that this comprehension passage was based on teaching methods we shall be taking some other paragraph in our next video class thank you so much